Welcome to a new video where you will learn how MEV bots work. Many people know about MEV bots, but they don't know what's so special about them. There are bots making millions of dollars a month, a year in profit. Without any work, they just set it up, code those things and they let them run for profits. And in today's video, I'm going to show you the main, the three main types of MEV bots and how they work so you, so that you can understand better the technology behind all of this exciting industry and how to create maybe your own bots. I made an article here and we will go through it and I will show you the different types. So here's Lib EVM, Lib MEV. It's a page that shows you the profit that MEV bots are making and it's very accurate according to some sources and you can see here Romani, there are three main MEV bots they're arbitrage sandwich and liquidation those are the three types the first one is arbitrage it's the most common one and as you can see here it's very simple you buy at one exchange like Uniswap and you sell at another exchange like SushiSwap and you make a profit let's say the token ABC it's on Uniswap and you can get 100 tokens for one Ether. And on SushiSwap you can get, for one Ether you can get 90 tokens, meaning on SushiSwap it's more expensive. So if you buy on Uniswap, you get 100 tokens for one Ether and then you sell it on SushiSwap, you get 1.05 or whatever Ether. So you made a profit of 0 0.05. And I mean, it's pretty simple, right? So that's how you do arbitrage. You find different exchanges and you simply arbitrage the same token on different places. You buy at one place and you sell at another. Now arbitrage bots are very competitive. They are the ones making the most money. And there are many different variations. You can go through multiple different types. One of them is buying at one place and at another, getting a middle token and that token swapping back it's, it's a lot of different things that you can do, but at the end you make a decent profit. And it's the first type of bot. For this, you don't need any fancy technology, you don't need flash bots or anything else because you can execute everything in one transaction. What you need to do is you need to write a smart contract that allows you to buy and sell at the same time because you don't want to allow time to affect your profitability. Now there is sandwich bots. This is the one that I prefer. I've been working on this for months and years, and it's one where you buy a token, then someone else buys that same token and you sell the token. This is much more complicated than arbitrage because you need to be watching transactions. You need to detect someone buying a token and you use slippage to extract a profit. So let's say John, like here, wants to buy 100 tokens ABC for one Ether. There is something called slippage, which means that he is okay, he accepts the fact that price may move, may increase in price during the time that the transaction is processing. So he allows a slippage of 5% or he is okay with receiving 95% ABC tokens. If he receives less than that, the transaction drops, he doesn't swap the tokens because it's less than what he wants to get. And let me repeat that, when you swap a token, there is some time until it is added to the blockchain, there's some time that passes. And during that time, someone else may come before you. This is because Ethereum is open and uh, there are a few seconds between transactions. So. When someone comes before you, when someone buys before you, the price increases and you get less tokens. That's slippage. So the sandwich bot is all about slippage. It buys before, first it detects a buyer, detects someone buying, let's say John wants to buy 100 ABC tokens for one ether. The bot then buys before John the same token, whatever amount is needed to move the price so that John gets the minimum amount he is willing to accept the slippage. So the bot buys, then John, and then the bot sells the same tokens for a profit in Ether. That's how it works. Bot buys, the price of John is affected, he gets less tokens because the price has been increased. There is 
more demand for the token and the bot sells all the tokens that the bot received and this is pretty simple to understand but when it comes to implementation you need to understand how to use bundles how to send private transactions with flash bots how to execute this in a timely fashion because if you spend more than one or two seconds executing all of this functionality john's transaction will be accepted and you will miss the opportunity sandwiching is one of the most competitive fields in mev because there is famous actors like jared where they have fine-tuned their bots to the point of an extreme level where they extract the most profit and they well at the end of the day whoever makes the most profit is the one that takes that opportunity because let's say there is five people five of them see the same opportunity for buying and selling only one of them can be accepted because John's transaction cannot be repeated multiple times only once so the one that captures the most profit the one that is more precise or faster or creates more profit for validators or or miners then that's the one that will take the opportunity so this is how it works sandwiching and for this to work you need to have mev bundles that come from flashbots that way you can make private transactions I could, I could go on forever on how this works and there are so many different things but that's the basic idea then there's the liquidation bots this one is less popular not, not many people are executing liquidation bots but uh, the functionality is the, the following john takes a loan for a thousand tether locking two thousand dollars worth worth of ether as collateral as you know with the crypto loan you need to put some collateral deposit some crypto so that you can borrow other crypto and the value of that deposit the collateral needs to be higher than what you borrow that's the the guarantee your collateral is guaranteeing your loan it's making sure that if you leave or you don't pay the loan the collateral is sold and we are able to recover the profits so well, let's say the loan expires john doesn't pay the loan for a year or so the loan is bad is bad it's no longer valid so a, a bot a liquidation bot sees that it's expired and since these lending protocols like compound ave they are open source they allow anybody to execute this type of functionality they simply execute the function they close the loan they pay the debt for whoever got the loan and uh, keeps some of the profits that's how it works the bot goes through loans he checks that they are good or bad and the bad ones he closes them because he is able to do that and gets some of the profit from the loan and the profit comes from the collateral i know it sounds confusing if you're not familiar with any protocols i encourage you to take a look at them there are many of them most popular most popular ones are ave and compound finance but it's a it's a very straightforward functionality and not many people are doing it as you can see here if you go to liquidation the extracted value is not as high it's 300 million in total compared to arbitrage which is about well it's not that hmm. well it depends you know this is i guess this is the total yeah this is okay so liquidation only is how much let's give you some time liquidation is one of the least popular mev methods but it pays a lot if you find a loan that has not been paid you can see here in one day there was 2.1 million dollars in profit 45 loans were closed and that that was a lot of profit because someone didn't pay their loan or it expired or the collateral dropped in value there are many different ways but compared to arbitrage this is just 11 million if you compare that to arbitrage you will see that it's nothing in terms of size so if you want something more consistent you may want to take a look at arbitrage where you can make 100 million dollars in profit in a month or so well that that's per day you can see here there's um sixty thousand dollars in profit per day twenty thousand two hundred thousand this is per day but of course there are many competitive users and in order for you to compete on this 
you need to be able to make a very competitive pot and that requires a lot of code and a lot of experience that's why make sure to join my group it's called MEVDAO here and once you join we will help you we will help you to develop your own bot or just understand how this exciting world works and just be a member of the community if you like this video make sure to give it a like subscribe because 80% of you are not subscribed and share this video with your best friend